from the Florida Derby. It's the 2015 Florida Derby Day, March 28th, and it's also Louisiana Derby Day. In the opener, I like Lord Tronador, who took the lead all the way to the top of the stretch and gave way to be fourth. In the second, I like Todd Fletcher's Tinto Misa, fourth again at 9 to 2. The third, I like number five, Carolina. Stalk the pace of the turn. The Stretch half was in 47 and 3, and they're coming to the top of the stretch. And it is Eastern Rose turning for home in front. Carolina on the outside. These two, 1 2 now. Carolina and Eastern Rose. Bird sense back to third on the inside. It's Eastern Rose and Carolina to the 16th pole together. In the third race. Oh yeah, I had the first winner on the day. In the fourth, I like Clara Kelly with Javier Castellano. Props two to one favorite. Just fourth. In the fifth, the first of the graded stakes. It was a grade three skip away. I like number six encryption, but the favorite commissioner, stretch duel, and he prevailed. In the sixth, it was the Grade Three Appleton, one turn or two turn mile on the turf. I like number six, War Correspondent. In fact, War Correspondent was my bet of the day. The turn they go. Arapika continues to lead. Excaper, Brightling Flyer just off of them. A rail run for the favorite War Correspondent. Lochte is three wide. A four wide run for Grand Tito on the far turn. Then Mr. Online and Dramedy, and they're coming to the top of the stretch. Three quarters in one eleven and three, and it is Arapika who turns it on at the top of the lane, opening up to Grand Tito. Runs up on the outside of War Correspondent. Arapika to catch. War Correspondent and Grant Tito coming. Arapika. War Correspondent. The best of the day. War Correspondent in the Appleton. The best of the day. Oh, yeah. Cash for almost $70. The seventh I didn't bet. The fourth at the fairgrounds I led all the way and was second at nine to five. The eighth at Gulfstream was the Sir Shackleton. I like number six ballot. I thought he'd go wire to wire. He was a four to five favorite, led the top of the stretch. No, gave way to be fourth. How many times am I gonna run fourth? The ninth made in special weight, Todd Fletcher's DeKalb County, seven to one! And ran like it, he was eight. The sixth at the fairgrounds, the coast of rising stakes on the turf. Number nine, that tie, right to the front. Tallahatchie Luke, they come down to the final for long. Hey, tie holds the rail and holds, knock it down hard. Late game by Grand Lion Wynn, who's staying on, flattening out, was brilliant interest, past the 16th. Hey, tie, hey, tie by three, knock it down hard, Grand Lion Wynn. Hey, tie, hey, tie, with a right to the First stakes winner at the fairgrounds. Oh yeah, triple the bet. The 10th at Gulfstream, the Honey Fox. Sandiva rallied up wide on the far turn, took the lead. Oh no, faded to second. Eighth at the fairgrounds, Slumber rallied late. Oh, second again. Then the 11th, it was the Grade 3 Orchid. I told several people, this is my daymaker of the day. First time North America for number six, Beauty Parlor with John Velasquez. Went off at a huge six to one. Race 11 at Gulfstream was the Grade 3 Orchid Handicap. I like number six, Beauty Parlor, making her first start in North America for Christophe Clement, 35% angle, and John Velasquez, a 43% rider for Clement. So hit the far turn, Beauty Parlor was sitting right off the pace. But they're coming move. to the top of the stretch, and photo call turns for home in front. Beauty Parlor comes up after her now. Then comes Teb Reed, she's closing on the far outside. Repost is in behind horses. Kitten's Point is there too, and White Rose on the far outside. Beauty Parlor is taking the lead. Teb Reed is closing in. Beauty Parlor, Teb Reed. Beauty Parlor in her U.S. debut takes the orchid over Teb Reed. Beauty Parlor, make me an appointment. Paid 14 60 20 to win. Get back $150. Woo! No! 150 beans made my day. 
right back the ninth at the fairgrounds was my bet of the day in the fairground oaks. I'm a chatterbox. Headed to the Kentucky Oaks. Stalk the pace to the top of the lane. Good feature at the fairgrounds, the ninth race, is the fairgrounds oaks. Number six, I'm a chatterbox looking to stamp her ticket to the Kentucky Oaks. She was the favorite. Set right off the pace to the top of the stretch, and then off she went. The stretch. Audrey's double is fifth. Then Tuck Yellow Desert Valley. Danette is last. I'm a chatterbox is first past the quarter pole. Three quarters, 111 flat. I'm a chatterbox coming down for the final furlong. Shook up is in full stretch. Toward the rail forever unbridled third. It is I'm a chatterbox. Shook up forever unbridled past the 16th. I'm a chatterbox, the Philly star of the meet. I'm a chatterbox with a hat trick of stakes wins and the Fairgrounds Oaks champion. I'm a 50 bet of the day. 50 to win on I'm a chatterbox. Woo! It's a great day. Oh, yeah, tons the best. Got back 80 bucks. The 12th, the Gulfstream, the Gulfstream Park Oaks for three-year-old fillies. Number four, Bird at the Wire, looking to stamp her ticket to the Kentucky Oaks. Steadied on the back stretch. The jockey stood straight up. Moved four wide into the lane. Gulfstream Park Oaks, number eight, Bird at the Wire, steadied on the back stretch. Oh, my. Swept up six wide. Bird at the Wire's got three lengths to make up. She's in with a chance after trouble on the back stretch. She's circling up on the far outside. In the meanwhile, Eskin for money is the leader. Danessa Deluxe alongside of her. Bird at the Wire's on the far outside. And Divine Aida's fourth are into the stretch. Eskin for money. Danessa Deluxe. Bird at the Wire on the outside. These three come into the final 16th together. Eskin for money on the outside is Bird at the Wire. Bird at the Wire! Bird at the Wire! Bird at the Wire in the Oaks! Triple the bat, my third stakes win at Gulfstream today. Woo, it's a good day. Oh, another winner at Gulfstream. Paid 540 collected over $40. The last three races at Gulfstream and the 13th, it was great great few Pan American Twilight Eclipse was even money. And third, the 11th at the fairgrounds, the Louisiana Derby, Todd Fletcher to Stanford, 7 to 1. Wire to final jump, second. Man, the 14th at Gulfstream, the Great One Florida Derby, came down to the two horses I like best, Materiality and Upstore, Stretch Duel. Oh, materiality. Still on the day. And one, two, three, four, five, six wins. Made over $100 today. It was a good derby day and a great day.